In this video tutorial for Grand Prix Race Manager, we will cover step 10, which is the awards ceremony. Note, this is an optional step. In this video, we will cover displaying the race standings to your audience, as well as your awards. This tutorial is using version 22 of the software. However, much of what we will cover applies to other versions of Grand Prix Race Manager. Before we dive into demonstrating how to display your speed and design awards to your audience, we will first quickly review the standings and awards tabs on the main screen. It is a good idea to review these tabs before displaying the results to your audience. Let's first cover the standings tab. Note, the columns that you see on this tab are affected by what you have set in the software settings screen. You can view standings at three different levels, round, group and subgroup, assuming that you are using subgroups. Go through each of the levels that you will be awarding and make sure that the standings look appropriate. Check the scoring summary section to double check that you have the scoring options set as you wanted. If there is a warning that not all heats have been completed, you will want to go back to the racing screen and address that. If you enabled tiebreaker rules in the software settings screen, you will see the tiebreaker key displayed, and any broken ties will have the letter code next to the standings place. If you are not using tiebreaker rules and see a tie in the standings, then you may wish to run a tiebreaker between the applicable racers. Note, if you have a tie during a preliminary round, we recommend not worrying about it. If it means advancing extra racers to the next round, then that is the better option than worrying about breaking that tie. If you have a tie in the standings for your trophy round, then you will need to determine if you want to break that tie or just award an extra trophy. If you wish to break the tie, then we recommend that you refer to the breaking a tie section of the help file for different ways to do so. If you scan down the standings and notice a racer that should have been excluded, but wasn't, you can go to the registration tab to correct that. Any excluded racer will not be displayed in the standings. As you review the standings, if you have any questions about the results for any particular racers, you can go to the reports screen and review their heat results using the vehicle stats report. Once you are satisfied with the standings, you can click on the standings button to display them to your audience. You will then get a nag message to make sure to review the standings before showing them to your audience. Note, if you don't want to see this nag message in the future, you can click on the box on the left side of the nag screen. Select the desired round, group or subgroup, and click on the OK button. Note, the columns that you see here are affected by what you have set in the software settings screen. You can also use the options menu button to turn on or off certain columns, or to change the screen colors. In the standings type section, you can opt to show your regular speed standings or the turtle standings for your slowest racers. You can then set the number of top finishers to display. For the reveal options section, you can select to display the standings, one at a time or all at once. Click on the reveal button to display the standings. If the one at a time option was selected, the first racer is displayed. The software will display the standings in reverse order of their finish place. Keep clicking on the reveal button to reveal the other racers, one at a time. On displaying the turtle standings, keep in mind that back in the software settings screen, you had the option to require that each racer must finish all of their heats. With that rule in effect, any racer that did not finish a heat will not be included in the turtle standings. When you are done displaying these standings, you can click on the tree button and select a different round, group or subgroup to display. That's the basics of using this screen to display standings to your audience. If you need help on displaying standings to the audience, click on the help button. Now, let's return to the standings tab. Other features available on this tab are the ability to export the standings to a CSV file. You can do that if you wish to create a custom report or somehow massage the data. If using our Derby web software and you wish to make the standings available to your audience through that app, you can click on the Publish Standings box. It is recommended that you wait until after your awards ceremony to do so, to not spoil the suspense. Note, interfacing to Derby web is a pro-only feature. If needed, you can change the size of the left side of this tab by clicking on the border and dragging it to the left or to the right. One other feature of note on this tab is the search feature. 
If you have a large number of racers, this can help you easily find a specific racer. Enter the desired racer information to search on. Then click on the Find button. Now, let's not forget about your design and other awards. So, let's go to the Awards tab and review those before your awards ceremony. Any awards that you entered into the software previously can have the winners assigned to them. For your certificate awards, you do not have to assign winners unless you wish to. If a winner is not assigned, when you print out a certificate award, the certificate will have a line on it where you can write in the winner's information. That way, you can print the certificates out ahead of time. To print out your awards certificates, please refer to the video on generating reports. There are two different ways to assign award winners. You can use the edit feature to select the winner of a particular award, save that change, and then move on to the next award. However, that can be rather tedious when you have a bunch of awards to assign winners to. The faster way is to use the Assign Winners feature. First, select the appropriate group or subgroup on the left side of the tab, or select the All option. Then click on the Assign Winners button. If you are using the Derby web software and have awards that are voted on by the audience, you can view the voting results. Clicking on the Accept Voting Results button will take those results and update the applicable awards with the winners. Note, audience voting for awards is a pro-only feature. To manually assign award winners, go to the Manual Results tab. Here you can quickly enter the vehicle number for each award. Select an award from the list. Click on the Vehicle Number box for that award and type in the winner's vehicle number. The software will fill in the racer's name automatically. Repeat for the other desired awards. Once done, click on the Save Results button. Now that you have updated all the desired awards with the winners, if you prefer to have certificates with the winners' names printed on them, you can print the certificates at this point. During your awards ceremony, you can use the software to display the awards to the audience. To do so, click on the Awards button. Select a specific group or subgroup from the list or select the All option. Now, select the award type that you want to display. For the Reveal options, you can select to display the awards one at a time or all at once. Click on the Reveal button. If the one at a time option is selected, just the first award is displayed. The software will display the awards in reverse order of the priority that are assigned to the awards. Keep clicking on the reveal button to reveal the other awards, one at a time. That's the basics of using this screen to display awards to your audience. You can customize this screen by clicking on the options menu button. There are some columns that you can turn on or off. You can also change the screen colors. If you need help on using this screen, click on the Help button. In this video, we have covered how to display the race standings and awards during your awards ceremony. Now let's go back to the Overview tab by clicking on the Home button. The software does not know if you are done with your awards ceremony or not, so you can check the completed box for Step 10 when you are done. This completes our video for Step 10 Awards Ceremony. Make sure to check out our other tutorial videos for Grand Prix Race Manager. Those cover generating reports, dealing with certain situations, troubleshooting serial port communications, and interfacing to some of our other software products.